Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Christina and today we're actually going to be handling a situation that's a bit gross so if you don't want to see it, turn it off now. Um, we're actually going to be talking about cleaning up uh, molded dishes. So that's practically gross. Um, dep again, depending on the mold, everyone's situation is different. If it seems like it's a very large health risk, stop. Get someone professional to do it. But when it's something like, you know, you've left a little bit of a tiny, itty bitty little bit of coffee in the bottom of your mug and then you found the mug somewhere in your house four weeks later. Um, oh, did I mention we're talking about hoarding? This is a hoarding video. Um, so if you were hoarding and you finally came across your dish, then this is how to clean it. All right, so to get started, um, we need a mask because of spores. Those lovely little things called spores. And we need our gloves. I actually am gonna use my purple gloves, but I have a hole in the right one. I just discovered it, a tiny little hole. So I'm just gonna put this on and stick it inside my, um, my purple gloves, just cause it's mold and it's gross. I don't think normally I would really care that much. Let's see. Get the hair out of the way for the most part. And now, what else do we need? We need our vinegar, which I put in a Dawn bottle because I have a huge jug. Um, sorry about my eyes. I'll probably be squinting a lot just because it's very dry in here and I have allergies. Baking soda. First time I say it. And dish soap which I, I always like empty out my bottle again into a smaller squish bottle. I find it a lot easier. Let's get started. The gross things we have on display today. Oh, we also need a kettle of really hot water. So whether that's a hot water maker or you've boiled some water or you can get really hot water through your tap. Um, sorry, my eyes are just killing me. Um, either way, you really want some really hot water. So, Different types of bottles and, and dinnerware is going to call for different types of things. This is glass. Don't have to worry about the hot water in that. Um, so glass doesn't, you don't really have to worry about that. Um, stainless things like this, stainless steel, you don't really have to worry about anything that's meant to hold hot water. You can put the hot water in, it's not going to be a problem, you just don't want to soak it because of the insulation. So you can fill it and let it soak, but you can't like stick this whole thing submerged under water. Um, plastic items like this, see how this, this is what we're talking about. Left, it's a little bit of something, something in there, it's not like the most massive amount of mold you've ever seen in your life, but it's gross, it's gross. Um, that's a plastic insulated, like the like double layer. This is a plastic straight bottle, so I could soak this. There's no double layer. Again, it's a little bit of just scuzz that's gotten on the bottom, but there's a straw, which always makes it hard too. Um, yeah, so these are the things we're going to be cleaning today. So if you find it disgusting, You've been warned. All right. First step is wear your mask because there are spores. There are spores. How many times will I say spore in this video? I don't know. So something, and now I have my sink and my sink is all prepared and ready. There's nothing else in there except some like vegetable shavings. So. Nothing I really worry about when it comes to mold getting on it. You don't want to like pour mold on top of your other dishes. Don't do that. Because this, this one is plastic, I'm going to put a small amount. I'm going to squirt in my dish soap. Dish soap. Little squirt. I'm going to put in a small amount of water. Just enough to dilute the boiling kettle water because I don't want to like severely damage the glass, I mean the plastic. So 
And you might be thinking like, well, won't the hot water, like what if you damage it anyways? Well, it was useless molded, so there's your answer. Don't worry about damaging your cup because it's unusable filled with mold, okay? I'm just gonna take the lid, I'm gonna soak the lid, the lid's not that bad, but I'll soak it along with some other lids from this sort of like gathering. I went around the house recently and did a big clean and I discovered a great many, I guess I have a trouble washing bottles, that's what I'm discovering. So yeah, I'm just gonna go about and do that everywhere. I will handle like straws and lids at a different point. But yeah, you just put in a squirt. If it's plastic, a little bit of water. Then your boiling kettle on top. Okay. Ta-da. That's all you're doing. See? But because it's steaming water and hot, that's why I have the mask on. The window's open. All that kind of stuff is going to be helpful to the sanitation. You could even take the lid and put the lid back on it. Like I'm just gonna actually do that. I'm gonna stick the lid back on the item so that the steam doesn't um, facilitate it all running around. This cup has a bit of like gross scuzz, so I'm gonna gently rinse it out. Again, a squirt of dish soap and just some hot water. This was a really cheap reusable cup. So I just put straight up hot water in there. And I'm gonna cover it, put the lid back on. Now, this is gonna be gross. This is glass, thankfully, this is glass. I'm gonna rinse it out. Cause it had, if it has stuff that you can rinse out, rinse it out because there's no point in like boiling goo. You know what I mean? You're not like, doing anyone any favors by boiling the sludge. Um, all of these caps are definitely gonna have to be cleaned on their own. This is gross. Also why you wear a mask. Hold your breath, but do it. This is really important, okay? So, oh my God, it's pressurized. Can you hear that? Holy crap. Just gonna let that depressurize. Holy goodness. Oh my gosh. Okay, I closed it. I'm gonna do something else. Okay, I've now opened um, a side window. Disgusting. I'm gonna, op I opened a side window that I didn't have open before, but I think I'm gonna stick this in the window because it just seems right next to the fresh air, just because it just seems like super disgusting. It's super gross, guys. That was... It smells so bad. But it's a device of my own making. A squirt and boiling water. Also a fun, a nice reason to wear, to wear the, um, the gloves. Well, it's, I'm just gonna leave it here. I was going to like let it depressurize next to the window, but it's all depressurized, so. Oh well. Alrighty, mmm. Mmm. Nice sludge pile there for me. Okay, last one. Pouring the hot water in there. Good job. Gonna let it soak. We're all done with that. Now, let these sit. Again, let the water do the work for you, folks. I have one that's been sitting for about 10, 15 minutes, okay? It's gross, okay? I'm gonna dump it out now. Much better, okay? Stick my hand in. And again, this is why you're wearing gloves. I'm just gonna use my hand to 
brush off the sticky stuff because because um, if you stick a, if you stick a sponge in there, the sponge is gonna get all the like mold on it. So ideally, just use your hand. Just use your hand. That's a lot better. It's got a small amount of residue. So now it's had boiling water. It's had antibacterial soap. It's at all the like major steps removed. Sprinkle a small amount of baking soda in there. That's gonna give it some grit to scrub with. A small amount of vinegar. I'm gonna just wipe it around in here. Just gonna scrub it in, see? Just wiping it around. Like that. Now, hot water in my sink, a nice sponge, a nice sudsy sponge. Now it's time to just wash it like you would normally wash anything. This is not a, mic, um, a dishwasher safe mug, so it is being hand washed. When you have something like mold, I always recommend, even if you hand wash it and it's like glass and it is dishwasher safe, take the extra step and run it through a cycle on your dishwasher if you have one. Or rinse boiling water through it just to be extra safe. Mold is mold, is mold guys, you know. Mold is a four letter word, okay? And now it's clean. So it's all sparkly and clean. There's been vinegar, there's been antibacterial soap, there's been baking soda. We've put boiling water in it, we've rinsed it. I might rinse it a couple more times just because the vinegar has such a strong smell. But now I'm gonna take it, I put it on my drying rack over in the corner and we're done. I can't really show you how the rest of these turn out because, um, uh, it's, I mean, it's just going to be the same as the other ones, um, but I'm going to let them soak for 10 minutes um, like I did that one. I let that one soak 10, 15 minutes. Again, here we go. There, oh, no, my ears. <laughs> um, again, put that there. Just put that there. Um, again, let the water help you. Let the, it do the work for you. It does so much work for you. You have no idea how amazing water is. Um, when it comes to these thinner jars, I'm going to have some trouble with these. I do own these things. I also own that. So when I also own like the sticks, like sometimes the sponges go old and I keep the sticks and so like this sponge, I cut it up to be really small because the edge of the stick is so firm that even if you just like rolled up some like paper towel and stuck it on the end, you can just shove it in there and scrape it around. So that's a trick is like if you have a dowel or anything, but these are nice because they can grip them um, just to really get in there in the bottom like you would with your finger, but you can't use your finger because your hands are too big. I also have these, which I will use for the straw portion and just you know, stick it in and scrub it around, make sure it's all clean. I will run uh, any of the dishwasher safe things on the top shelf of my dishwasher next time I have um, the plate section full. So I'm not gonna run an entire cycle to wash three mugs or three cups, but as long as they are clean and they just need that extra, you know, boiling hot water through a dishwasher, um, oh yeah, that was a good choice because this is so wet. That hole is a lot bigger than you think it would be. Um, yeah, pretty much. That's the end of the video. This is a really horrible ending to the video, but, um, these guys are all just soaking. I don't know if you can see it. No, you're, you're really suction cupped on there. You're suction cupped to another window. It's so thrilling and exciting. Um, yeah, that's... That's this video, that's how to clean mold out of cups as long as it's pretty, I mean, I say minimal, but that's like, was super gross sludge that was in some of those things. That was like decayed soy milk and 
green stuff. So, I mean, it is, it's not like, you know, I don't know, like, it's not like, you know, mold piles out in the forest where you see them growing and they look like mushrooms, but it's definitely something you don't want in your house. Um, but anyways, I hope this was helpful and remember, let the water do the work for you. If this was you, you would go take a break for 10, 15 minutes, watch a YouTube video, um, listen to some music, whatever it is, um, write down on your accomplished chart what you've done today. Um, I'll talk about that in another video, but I've talked about it way before in the past. Um, you could go now and write down on your accomplished video, prepped and filled all molded dishes with water. That's an accomplishment. You did it. And come back and do what I just did with the bunny mug and yeah, you'll have clean dishes. It's so exciting. That dish is now, I can drink out of it. This guy, from my best friend Sabrina, I can drink out of it now. I can kiss it, I can love it. It's wonderful. So anyways, with friends, Wait, no, she didn't give me this one. Sorry, Sabrina. She gave me this one. I'll show you guys what she gave me. Um, no, I won't. I lied. I won't show you. But she gave me another one that has bunnies on it. And it says, with friends, all things are possible. And I bought this one because it's much larger and it matches it. So... I mean, it was inspired by my best friend. But anyways, with friends, all things are possible. It's so true. She is such an encouragement to me. My friends are amazing and they love me unconditionally, even with this mess. You know, sometimes you feel like, oh my God, I'm not lovable. And then you have these friends that are like, I'll come over. I love you. So I hope that through this channel, you will find friends and you will have clean mugs. That's the goal. So anyways, have a great and wonderful day and I will catch you all later. Thanks so much. Bye.